Okay, this is a quick disclaimer. Um, I'm sorry, I'm on my shitty mic. Uh, something happened with the audio in this episode where sometimes uh, me and Gert and Renee are kind of out of sync. Uh, <laughs> at first I thought, oh man, I'm really interrupting them a lot. But it, I realized that my audio was just a little bit like, I don't know how it happened, just before theirs. So I was responding to things before they even finished saying it because I, I don't know what happened, but that's just a disclaimer. Uh, so hopefully it's not too noticeable, but if you think I'm being a jerk in this episode, I promise it's just an audio problem. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. I used to listen to good podcasts when everything was fine, but now I listen to this podcast as I lost my mind. My gym partners and podcasts. My gym partners and podcasts. Bullshit, porcupine. I don't know what doing this podcast is up. What are you Her. looking at? Okie dokie. Lucy. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to the new year. Um, I'm sick, so I'm sorry about my everything right now. Uh, we watched some episodes, though. Yeah. We're ready to get right back in. It's. I feel like I haven't done this in a while. It's and... been a while. How are you guys doing? Oh. You know, I'm pretty good. Uh, and then, you know, I was asked to, to get get in here, and, you know... <laughs> uh, oh, just, oh, come on. Ah, oh, come on. You like it. <laughs> yeah, you're um, right, I do. Hey, getting like, back what's, into what's the y'all's form. New Year's resolutions? Um, I'm probably going to, uh, watch more of yeah, this show. We, well, do you think we could finish it by the end of the year? Um, no. No, I don't think by the end of the year. <laughs> Which that's a sad thing to think about. I think this is gonna be a show we're gonna keep doing until twenty twenty. You know, that's really something to think about, and it's kind yeah, of it fucked is. up. Um, so let's. But let's yeah, let's get I, into and, it, shall we? Again, yeah. forgive me. I will try not to like hack a hairball into the microphone as much as I possibly can. Uh, it's that time of the year, you know. I it's just cold season, so. But I. Mm-hmm. I gotta travel. Yeah. I gotta. Oh do gosh, holiday yeah. and, and stuff. And thank you too for uh, doing a little episode to tide everybody over with Shirley. Um, I listened to it; it's very entertaining. <laughs> uh, <coughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad you know you enjoyed, it and uh, if any of our wonderful listeners enjoyed it, yeah. Uh, we just, you know, had had this idea for a while, Bruin, uh, making a some bonus episodes talking about the lore. And if you haven't checked yeah, it out you yet, should, you uh, should. It's our last episode. Let's but go. anyway, uh, yeah, we should get back to the most recent yes. episodes we did. Now, the the last last episode, we we skipped ahead to do the the animus special for my gym yeah. partners a monkey. Uh, now, now we're back. We're back on the right schedule to just back on know, the rails. Back to see the the episodes as they come. And uh, in my opinion, these these two episodes that we just watched are like the last normal episodes. There might be some more like later on, but these are the last two that feel like regular, like just school. Uh, jokey episodes like oh yeah that's like a school joke before this is they before just get <laughs> we're, we're not, we're not, before they lose their goddamn even, mind like, we're not even done with season one and you're saying that this is where the normal ends. <laughs> like we have three more seasons the, there's gotta be some there's gotta be some normality interspersed between the you the know, madness it, it's it probably there is probably normality interspersed uh, but i mean uh, We've already seen madness with the fucking doorknob <laughs> episode. But yeah, I, what a, what a trailer. Like, I think let's it's talk about creep. Law, and or- Law and Order. Excuse me. Yeah, let's talk about Law and <laughs> Order. Um, Law. Welcome to our Law and Order podcast. <laughs> Law and, o- <laughs> Law no, and Order um... is a wonderful episode for many reasons. Um, it really, it's. I think this one really. Uh, it says a message. Really, uh, and I'm excited to talk about it. So, without further ado, we start off the episode where uh, none other than Jake Spider Monkey himself uh, just breaking the school's laws and getting chased by can the I, hall can monitors. I quickly, 
Yeah. And he's I swinging we, on vines. Before we get too into it, I yeah. did want to ask: Did anybody ever have a hall monitor in their school? Yeah, I'm like, fuck where the no. fuck did that concept go? From? I think, like, I think in like elementary school, there were these like people with sashes. But I, I don't remember Cause them like, being. Cause like, cause like, but think about it in in, this, in in elementary school, you're basically in the same classroom like all day. The only times you go out into the hallway is like if you gotta go to the bathroom or like I don't know, you're going to music class or something. And like a hall monitor, if it was like a kid, they'd also be doing that. They wouldn't be like out just patrolling the hallways. But definitely not in fucking like element or sorry middle no. school like. There was nothing like that in middle school. It was just like you had to be in class. Teachers were like, would like <laughs> push maybe... you in the classrooms or be like, "Hey, where are you supposed to be right now?" There's no hall monitors. And and yeah, and the high school just has you know, just <laughs> actual police in, in your a lot of cases, just <laughs> actual police. I had I had one. <laughs> Great times. I, had I one. got called into his office once. Oh, I had one. <laughs> Mine played Call of Duty, apparently. <laughs> That's all I knew wow. about him. <laughs> so anyway. Yeah, Jake's hollering. He's swinging basically. around, and apparently he's swinging in a no-swing zone, which is stupid for many reasons, one of which being what there's, like, vines all over the school hallways and crap like that. Like, why is this a no-swing zone? What doesn't make any sense. Like, I, like, it, it, like uh, that and, like, a, a little bit ahead, it makes me think, that this hall monitor is just spewing bullshit because, like, he lists a bunch of stuff that I feel like, you know, either Jake's just been breaking the rules this whole time and hasn't really been getting, like, snuffed for it or, you know, it's just complete bullshit. But I, I, I like this intro because it's a very, like, you know, uh, one-shot sort of cops yeah. kind of intro where jake's being uh chased by like a handheld camcorder while this uh uh monitor lizard looking uh student is chasing after him and and he, you know monitor. jake's swinging he knocks over this lizard hall monitor and he bumps into the cameraman <laughs> it's a really dynamic <laughs> scene for... there's this there's a shot i gotta mention where he just barfs a bunch of banana peels <laughs> out of nowhere. Yeah, but it was just like a fucking Mario Kart move. He just he dropped out like an oil slick. And and you know, we we see that our cameraman is none other than Jesus Christ. I saw him and I was like enraged instantly. It was uh, Henry Armadillo is the cameraman and he was like, "Oh shucks, what am I going to do for the school news now?" He puts so much fury <laughs> in my heart. Like, whenever I see him, I get worried that's going to be, it, like, the episode that centers around him. And, like, it it just fills me with dread because I don't want to sit through an episode where he's the main focus. He makes me so angry. Let's stop talking about him now. Let's... Um, so Jake uh, swings right dang done into Adam's locker and he's just like, Adam, you gotta hide me. The cops are gonna get me. They're gonna put me in jail. I can't go yeah, back. He goes into Adam's locker and clo and like closes it and then he's like, I'm on the lam and then I like saw this joke coming <laughs> a mile away. <laughs> he opens the locker. <laughs> And there was, and he like kicks a lamb out. Like there was a lamb student in there, and he was on it, and it was. And that's very funny because it was the lamb. I, I want I want to mention that like when I first watched this episode, I I didn't know what he was saying. I didn't know the meaning. Like I, I just like heard him say something, and then like he was on a lamb, and I was like, oh, I guess that's a joke. <laughs> I don't know what he's saying. What but... what was happening? Why, Why was, was it, it in the locker? Like, were you, were you okay during this episode? <laughs> I don't know. I just, yeah, as a kid, like, I just barely rem understood some words. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant, like, a while ago. <laughs> I, thought on you meant now? I thought you I thought the episode put you in, like, a fugue state. <laughs> no, no, I mean, as a kid. Oh, I thought you meant recently as well. I was <laughs> like, are you okay? <laughs> it's like, no, holy I'm fine, shit. I'm fine. It's just, 
It's just as a kid, I remember watching it and I was like, I don't understand what this means, what he's saying, but I guess it's a joke. And then now <laughs> rewatching it, just like looking at it, it's like, yeah, I, I, I guess get it's it. a joke. It's is the way joke. I feel about this whole series. <laughs> but I, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still not laughing at it's, it. It's it's <laughs> silly. It's it's silly. You know, it's fun. I enjoy this it's, stupid humor God. and. It's like the opposite of, sorry, I just wanted to say a quick little thing what? related to that. That's like the opposite of Spongebob, where, like, you hear a joke as a kid and you don't understand it, and then you, like, go back to the old episode and you're like, oh, that's really funny. But with my gym partner as a monkey, it's like, oh, that joke, it, it, it's a joke, <laughs> but it sucks. I mean, <laughs> like, it's expected. Yeah, we got... <laughs> like, it's a joke, you but I it. don't it's get like it. Animals. School. Yeah, it's how could how could they how could they not have a like a cop sure. themed episode and not say on the lamb and then reference a like an actual lamb student like that would be a wasted opportunity. It, it really, it's, I would be. They they had so. to do it, and it's like yeah, I get it, but also you know move along, and you know it, they don't they don't hammer in this joke like throughout the episode, so I'm thankful for that. Well, you say mm -hmm. that. Well, I mean, so it's just let's one keep other moving. Thing. But we are moving at a snail's pace. Uh, yeah, let's just. The lizard let's is like you know he, they, they, the the hall monitor crew, which is like a lizard, a bear, like a a turtle, a fish in a bowl, and they find Adam, and they're like ah you know cough up the criminal basically, and they they take Jake out, and he's like reading a, a magazine inside the locker. <laughs> I forget what he says because mm -hmm. he. <laughs> He's just like, oh, yeah. Something's in. And yeah. they they start charging him. They're like, ah, oh, you know, swinging in the wrong in a no swing zone, eating in a no eating zone, gangly toenails or whatever. <laughs> Get like, which and, honestly, I yeah, think he told, they find him for not wearing pants. Um, <laughs> um, um. Hello. <laughs> Jay, I mean, I don't want to defend villain can be brought to justice he's been going on too See, long we, like we can this. excuse this behavior if it's just like oh it's you know it's a funny cartoon world you know jake doesn't wear pants because it's funny and it's a cartoon but no they they the people in the world <laughs> the homeowners <laughs> the people in the world are upset <laughs> by him and so they send them rightfully to court so we see some familiar faces <laughs> uh yes yeah. Uh, it, it's refreshing, honestly, because we get some continuity here. We have the, was... spiff, the spiffies yeah, once they're... again, and they're in control of the court. And it's a student. Adam is just guilty. <laughs> He's guilty because he lost nope. the spelling bee. And no trial, no due process. And and Mr. Mandrill is overseeing this, so... <laughs> I can't get a read on that guy, honestly. Oh. Sometimes I feel like I like him, and then sometimes I just want to, like, he infuriates me. <laughs> I he hasn't said anything in particular that's infuriated me, but, like, as a character, he's... You know, the faculty, for the most part, is really funny, because, like, a lot of the jokes revolved around them aren't that they're the animal that they are. Stupid. It's that they're... A teacher. <laughs> Adults. They're You're just that's... a stupid adult teacher. I've mentioned this before, but like I think it's worth mentioning it again because it's funny. But Mr. Mandrill just feels very like, vague to like you know just like throw out some counselor jokes like oh let's rap about. He that. says that a lot, be, doesn't he? Just be a generally chill guy. He does. He <laughs> says that almost every time he um, shows up. He, so they're like, "You're guilty," and Adam, you know, kind of references like. Are you guys still mad that I lost the spelling bee? And the pig, like, cries about it. <laughs> Fucking pathetic loser. No. God, it's such an idiot. I don't like them. Um, but it's really, like, when I saw, when I heard this, I kind of, like, raised my ears a bit. Because the continuity, like, really just... It, it took me by surprise. We haven't encountered that yet, and we're like quite I a would say few truffles, episodes in. Jake's liking truffles was a continuity thing. Yeah, yeah that was a continuity I, thing. I suppose so, but 
that's like kind of just that, that's like something that he likes it's not an event it, it was but this was referencing it's an event it's a <laughs> yeah, happening so i guess so everything that happens is chronological now based on this one fact um and they mm -hmm. sent him <laughs> so for anyone coming to so for anyone watching my gym partners i'm like you have to watch it in the right don't order skip, i cannot don't skip you episodes enough. to get to the plot points you have to watch all of them everything is connected um <laughs> <laughs> uh, they they get sentenced to hall monitor duty uh after the main spiffy was like hard labor <laughs> but mr mantrel was like hey uh, hey come on we you can't do that in student court he was like, all right, hall monitor duty. And so Jake is just howling, screaming, please, no, anything but having me be in that uniform. But of course, comically switches to him in the uniform. It was like, oh, hey, I yeah, look pretty good in this. And he's admiring himself in the mirror, ass <laughs> on full display, this, of course. This scene of is course, my favorite yeah. in the whole he's, thing, I think. A lot of people call me, a lot of people call me a, a summer. A summer. But my butt's definitely a spring. <laughs> Those words uttered by him. Gosh, it it it. I I. I really ahead. really like this scene. I think it's hilarious. The 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 it nothing exciting happens in this scene. It's just like Jake and Adam talking casually. I just love that though. <laughs> They're just like hanging out in the bathroom. <laughs> And like Adam's like, this is dumb. I don't want to do this. But Jake's like, oh, no, we gotta honor the uniform. We gotta, you know, do our duty. And 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 Adam's like, you know what? Yeah, okay, yeah, we could do this. We sh we're gonna we're gonna respect the our duty. Respect the law. <laughs> Be a cop. We're the power now. We are the structure. <laughs> Nobody. We don't have to obey it, but the people beneath us and, do. And. <laughs> That's the theme, I, I think, of the show. I mean, sorry, the, uh, that's the theme of the episode. That's the theme of the uh, the theme of all of my gym partners and monkey is there are no good <laughs> cops. And uh, this is just an episode that's overtly like outward about its like yeah, intentions. So, so and Jake's its like, are you go on ahead, Adam. I'm gonna. I need to finish some things up in here. And I'm like, oh god, what could this possibly be? And, he, and, and Adam, like... <laughs> like, what Adam, do you think, like, right? Does a little salute, leaves the bathroom. And Jake, like, like, looks at himself, like, looks at his butt, sorry, in the mirror, and he's like, yeah, definitely a spring. And he, like, blows, like, on the, like, when... Yeah, he, he fucks up the mirror, the writes, mirror. like, me... And then he draws, like, a heart that's, like, you know, roughly butt-shaped. And then he, like, kind of, like, holds his butt up to the heart. <laughs> With just a hint just of winter. A... And he shakes it around and jingling noises. Happen. It's just... Uh, it's good. It's a good happen? scene. Okay, listen. Noises? This scene is about how um, self-empowerment. Jake feels confident in his body. And he's not afraid to acknowledge himself. <laughs> <laughs> and acknowledge he's happy I guess. How, like, he looks at himself in the mirror and he's like yeah I look good that's good for him you know I guess I've I, you know what I'm gonna give Jake some credit I've probably looked in the mirror a time or two at my own <laughs> ass and said god I love this this, <laughs> this is, is good, good and I'm glad that Jake it's has it's that hashtag relatable yeah Everybody, share your experiences no. <laughs> that you've had that are similar to Jake's. Were, were Do you, you love your own body? butt? <laughs> body positivity. Jake no. Spider Monkey. Hashtag no. Spider Monkey positivity. positivity. Booty. No, okay. no, don't, don't say that. Don't write that. Um, don't write that anywhere. If you write that anywhere, it'll be a shit. You can, anyway, but don't connect on. it to us. But anyway, we, we move on to Adam having a bit of a a, a bit of a power trip where he's trying to tell everyone to do this or do that it was like hey no foraging for food hey get off that tricycle tiny and but everyone's just <laughs> Which, like is that calling... is that that elephant's name or did he just call no. he, he called, called him, him that to belittle name. him see we have these co contrasting yeah. scenes where jake is is empowering himself and uh to for a good cause whereas adam is empowering himself to belittle others 
Yeah. He's... Where I think I think this really fits him. This episode's theme, where, and I wish it kind of focused on that more. Where he he's finally feeling power over these animals. It's like it's his. <laughs> where, he can, where he can lord over them. They, but of course they disrespect. Yeah, because he's a cop, and <laughs> yeah, he deserves to be disrespected like, now. You know, you know, disrespecting him, and and Jake comes up and he's like eating a dirt nut. It's it's a dirt nut, which is a donut. It's but just it's a donut, dirt, but is... yeah, we're, gonna, we're not gonna get it. We're gonna... I don't want to get jelly into filled. this world ever again. I'm done with it. <laughs> We've had like three episodes of <laughs> yeah. We it's a very like animal. They really like ran the the food related episodes yeah, dry. So. They, so... Jake? But, but I want to talk about more about the dirt nut <laughs> but as it comes later. We can't, keep, we can't keep talking about the dirt nut. We gotta go. Uh, <laughs> we gotta giddy up and get out as, of this episode. Anyway, Jake just Jake just comes in. And, he, he's, <coughs> and Adam's like, oh, nobody respects me. And Jake's like, that's because they don't respect me. <laughs> Yeah, it's just, it's just like everybody hates me. Yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody likes you, loser. And 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 you know, Adam's like, "Where'd you get that? You know, that dirt nut?" And he's like, "Oh, you know, the cafeteria or whatever that like, gives it to us or something for a little, you know, protection." And then this is where we start to see that, uh oh, the hall monitors are corrupt. Yeah, corruption. corruption. If it wasn't um, obvious before, yeah, it and, is now. Bribery. To Adam's Graft. credit, which I don't say a lot. To Adam's credit, he is like, Jake. That's bribery. You can't do that. Uh, what? And also, you're eating in the hallway. I'm gonna write you up for this. Like he's actually doing his damn job, I guess, and trying. He's trying. He's trying. He's trying anyway, to be a good you know. cop, but as we know. Um, no, no, no such thing. <laughs> According to this, which this episode will prove to us. This is my um college thesis uh, about about cops and corruption, and it's based entirely around this episode of my gym partner's a monkey. So, so after it uh, cuts to uh Jake uh Adam uh this 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 bobcat uh this this uh the large uh feline. Who has a tattoo? Looks very burly and stuff. And Adam's just like, I caught this kid uh, stalking in a no stalking zone. So what are the stalkings? <laughs> Hello. And I I guess it's just in the classrooms for like you know, uh, a mandated stalking so that they learn. Fair but <laughs> and the monitor lizards like, uh, who, who is he stalking? And Adam's of course like <laughs> me. Which we don't get to see that scene. It just kind of. <laughs> happened off screen i guess and uh jake is like okay i'll you know take his mug shot or whatever and he like puts him in front of like a a cloudy background <laughs> he's like put your put your <laughs> like i'm like a flying yeah. cherub like it's like put your put your hand under your chin and like imagine yourself surrounded by unicorns and takes a picture and he he gets a big dreaming <laughs> grin <laughs> This like this joke is really funny because like after these pictures are taken, it's just kind of like, Adam's all right, just like hey, why didn't you book that guy? Well, he doesn't go to school here. Also, he's like twenty five. <laughs> like he, he, he's just yeah. like some guy. And also, Jake says like bye to him and like bye, something like, about oh. saying hello to his, like an aunt. <laughs> he he. <laughs> Like he knows him very well, apparently, and then Adam's like, "You know that guy?" And he's like, "You know sure. this thug?" Yeah. So, uh, so Jake hired, I, or, I guess, bribed the hitman. Tried to kill him. No, not a hitman. Just, just, just yeah, to rough him up a little you know? bit. Just a guy to like. Yeah, just somebody to like give him a. You make and, him think and twice. Adam is just, like shocked and furious, and he's like, "What? What? Why would you do this?" And then he comes to kind of a realization. It's because he's in like the hall monitor room or whatever the office, and he looks over and like the lizard and the 
bear and the turtle and whatever are all like eating dirt nuts and he's like wait a minute all of you are corrupt oh no i like the the dirt nuts represent the money and the corruption that like actually happens it's, in the it's very sports. it's very good uh, correlation <clears throat> there because you know uh, donuts are the iconic uh signature of any cop of the the lazy cop and just like uh correlating it with uh this sort of bribery and and sleaziness really i think was a, a good choice i think they went they did good on yeah. their theming here but they mi- the only thing they really missed was making one of the hall monitors a pig <laughs> just get yeah. really literal you know you know you know they really could have done that but I, they I, didn't i, 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 I liked the designs of the hall monitor kids They're... though i thought they were fun yeah, I thought the the lizard one was pretty like pretty all right looking. Yeah, the lizard designs in the show go. We we did see the lizard in like the did we in the animus special. Yeah, and he was the one who was like, and we where we hang our oh that's our right with I care. didn't recognize him. Ah, huh. well that's there we go. What happens next? <laughs> so so, so yeah, he keeps trying to egg. Add him on to, to be corrupt. He's like, hey, come on, have a dirt nut. Come on, everyone's watching. And I'm like, lose no. yourself. <laughs> and Jake keeps like trying to convince him. He's like, oh, uh, uh, come on, a rubber ball, shiny thing, which that's another mm-hmm. callback. It's like, and I, I like that sort of sort of correlation as it's a forbidden object of power. And he's just like holding it up to like you know further signify him trying to corrupt. The Adam. symbolism in this in this show is Here. incredible. <laughs> it's powerful. It is. But, but Adam's d- like, no, no, none of you. You're. This is all wrong. Uh, I don't want to be corrupted. Oh, poor, poor Adam. It's too late. <laughs> it's too poor late. Adam. It's too late. You put on the <laughs> uniform and. They're this is when he. Hurting. This is this when he comes up with the decision that he needs to stop the corruption at the true roots. Wait, 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 wait. No, wait. I think there's some stuff we overlooked. Everyone is like saying how they, uh, how they were given stuff to corrupt them. The fish writes, "I got a rock <laughs> on her fish oh, yeah. bowl helmet," which is really funny. Uh, and then and then Jake is just like he hides all his like, cur- uh, his loot. And he's like, King Kong's got nothing on me. <laughs> Holding his treasures and his little hoard. I don't know why I just said that. I don't know why, but like, I find that really funny. It's a, it's a good it's... moment. Uh, and Adam has just had enough, though. He's he's done with it. So like what it, what does he do? What better does he do do than tattle? <laughs> He goes to Principal Frick, Pixie Frog. Oh yeah, I forgot about the scene. <laughs> yeah, he tries to go to Principal Pixie Frog, who's like so, has a little bow on like his desk or something. Yeah, he's just. Why are you bothering phone. me when I'm doing my principal <laughs> duties and other such things? <laughs> I like Principal Pixie Frog. I, also I think, think he's, he's funny. funny. He's, he's he's a real he's a strength of the show for sure. <laughs> And so, Adam Adam is trying to tell him about the hall monitors being corrupt, but of course, Principal Pixie Frog gets wind of it, and he's just covering his ears, going la 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 la. Uh, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. This goes higher up than you know. <laughs> la, 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 la. Are, you, are you okay? <laughs> like the hall monitors are more powerful than Principal Pixie Frog, it seems. There's, but I wouldn't. The, the thing about this corruption thing is that, like, I don't get what, what he's so scared about. Like, we haven't seen the hall monitors do anything particularly threatening, except for Jake, who has hired a 25-year-old man to stalk his best friend. But other than that... Wait, God. <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't get mu- much of, like, the general power of the Force, just, like, you know, that one thing. And also, you don't get the feeling that the hall monitors are really hassling the other students. If like you got like a yeah, thing they seem kind of kinda that. lazy. It's it's 
it, yeah, it's just they're lazy, and that's pretty corrupt in of itself. But they're not really castling the students. They're just they're just like giving the cafeteria extra protect protection, Which, quote unquote. Okay, like here's here's what could have improved this um this problem. Just add a little tiny scene of like the hall monitors like roughing up a kid for not like paying protection or something or like a kid getting bullied by bull Sharkowski and trying to ask the hall monitors but like bull hands them like a dart nut or whatever and then he's just they're just like carry on with your with your business they don't we didn't see anything no, they mostly just set a sat around and ate ate donuts it was great that that one thing that principal pixie frog says it it it, it... It feels like there's something darker <laughs> here. Maybe that's best left for another secret society meeting. But there's a lot of implications <laughs> of it goes deeper than you think. Goes higher up than you know. But of you course, don't Adam. Know what I know. <laughs> so, so Adam gets the idea to uh, to hit the the cops where it hurts and just. The take away their supply of dirt nuts and this is what I want to talk about so he goes to a dirt nut delivery guy it's like a, a truck delivering the dirt nuts and so that makes me think these are mass produced this is like an actual company that like makes these these dirt uh, the pastries <laughs> how far does that how, go is, then? Is, is Charles Darwin Middle School the only people that it gets delivered to, or what? I'm or sure there's some like... nasty humans who eat them. Maybe, but also, like, are they just uh, properly consumed by animals? Maybe it also goes to oh, the zoo. Oh, that makes sense. And that's, like, I would buy that, yeah. Thing. He, he mm. uh, Adam, goes up to this old, old man who is driving the car, uh, the, the delivery truck, and he's like, you know we don't need you around here anymore and he like pours some money out of a little piggy bank and it's just like a stack of coins and he's like take this and, and don't come back and the, what is it the guy says he like mispronounces a word uh, speak, speak up but sorry I'm a little <laughs> yes. deep I'm a little deep <laughs> what is it what like a bribe he's like he can't under he can't hear him very well and so Adam of course has to yell this is a bribe! Yes! <laughs> take it! This is I'm a bribe! I'm bribing you! Now take the bribe and never come back! <laughs> and I, what? I vid vividly remember this scene. This is like the scene that the that most sticks out to me in my memory right. of this show. I think I think they played this episode a bunch. Somewhere. I, think I, re I recognized too. a bit of this episode, so yeah, I was like, oh, okay. I knew where it was going to, so because of course <laughs> can't can't win everything, and uh, you know Adam triumphant goes back to the hollow monitor office, and he's like with that shitty look on his face. Oh, I heard there was a dirt nut shortage. So sorry to hear that, guys. And the the lizard guy's like, well, that's okay. We like dirt. Oh, I forgot what it was like. We like dirt tarts, <laughs> yeah, too. Dirt tarts. <laughs> like a Pop-Tart, but it's made of dirt. <laughs> Yay! Might as well be, I guess. <laughs> Let's not have this sort of discussion here. Uh-huh. <laughs> but, so, Adam's like, huh, so I guess, I guess me showing the corruption of the Force didn't work, huh? But of course, but the monitor lizard turns on the TV is like, ah, not exactly. And it shows the CDMS news where where the Henry Armadillo, both the the cameraman early, earlier shown in the episode and the news anchor is showing how, uh, showing footage he took of Adam Lyon doing the bribe. And showing Thanks, on, on, Henry. On the TV for everyone to see. <laughs> And of course, we gotta, like, if you see him once in an episode, you know they gotta bring <laughs> him up again. He's gotta be, he's gotta be somewhere else. Oh, it... Worming his way into the plot. Uh, oh, man. And 
they kind of just jab at him and they're like, you, you're off the force, blah, blah, blah. And Adam, terrible. Student court again. Student court. Uh... And, but but now he's like the, the court like yeah. clerk. And, <laughs> and they're, the spiffies are like, where's our lunch court clerk? He's like, but, but I'm... That's not what a court clerk is supposed to do. <laughs> and it's just like it is now. <laughs> and you know, uh, they they hold him in contempt because of his yeah. back sass. So they get the bailiff, who is Jake Spider Monkey. Oh boy! Now. <laughs> God. But but not really. He's just he's just trying to get Adam he's out. He's trying to be a bud for once. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, just there, cool. there are times cool. where this is one of those times. Bud, he, he's like, you know, you know, I'm trying to bust you out, and uh, <laughs> Adams. But he's still rocking. Uh, apparently, he left the force, but he's still rocking the uniform because you know he's he looks so yeah, and... good in it. <laughs> but then Monitor Lizard comes out and he's just like, "Hey, you're not authorized to wear that uniform." Oh no, Jake! <laughs> he's like. Guess Jake, we're on you... the lam again, and and then and then there goes that gag again. They're right. on the lam, literally, literally. And, and then they, they ride, ride off into and, the hallway. And, and then it's over. Good episode. So yesterday's funny monkey. That's uh, this episode. <laughs> okay, dokie. <Okay>. Then... <laughs> oh, what are you looking at? You basically summed up. The All right, episode. goodbye, everybody. Thanks for watching, <laughs> listening. <laughs> All right, it was a good episode of my Jim Partners and podcast. Oh, oh, we'll see you no. next week with what were the episodes? We we got it. We no, got to no, talk no, about no. this. Yes. And we have Jake. It opens with Jake's like again, and he's this gent. It's it's a overly long drawn out gag where he's trying to get a banana peel from the top here. It didn't yeah, need he's to be he's this he's poking long. around in his yeah, locker just... and he's got this big pile of shit in there. <laughs> he's just trying to. There's like a banana peel on the top that he wants to eat, I guess. Well, you know, he's gotta he's gotta fuel up so that he can like do that banana peel attack. <laughs> like, fuel up. <laughs> he he keeps them underneath his tongue. <laughs> he he's you know. It, it's a bunch of comical stuff to try to get that banana peel until he gets his butt stuck into the locker and it's comically inflated so that's <laughs> what you see it's just this big bulbous sticking out of his ass. locker and everybody everybody thinks it's he, funny he, and they tell yeah he, he's he like you know is stuck in the locker he gets a little he's like finds some butter from the pile in his locker and he lathers up his ass <laughs> and just in case just in case you don't get the joke, he says, Ooh, I'm buttering my butt. And it's like, yes, Come thanks. on, I get it. <laughs> Thank you. Like, I do appreciate that because I don't really understand uh, jokes. When something's funny? Yeah. Uh, I didn't even know the <laughs> word. Thank you. And um, that so, really so helped it, me every, out. It's, everyone's, it's in, when I say everyone, I mean like, the group, you know, you got Windsor, Slips, uh, Ingrid, Lupe, and they're all, Lupe, Adam is still standing out there, and, and so, so <laughs> they're like, oh, he's, you're so funny, Jake, oh my god, and Windsor's like, he's not just funny, he's a genius. <laughs> it's like, why are you saying that, <laughs> You think that, Windsor would have a higher standard for comedy that doesn't rely on the physical kind? It's it's to let you know that since he's the reasonable one, he's the logical one of the group. Even Winter... he thinks it's really funny. So then you know you know you you know that he is ostensibly funny, and you can't argue <laughs> that now. Windsor, Windsor said says it, he's funny. Windsor says he likes like true comedy and only laughs at things that are like you know genuinely funny. But he probably likes Family Guy <laughs> cutaway gags. No, they're they're really funny. Uh, <laughs> slip you gotta try watching family guy with me sometimes because uh they cut away and they talk about celebrities you'd get you would get all my jokes if you watched it <laughs> here i'm sending you a funny guy mo funny moments uh <laughs> funny guy <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh please
please reunite Seth and Carl, and if you listen to this show, please come to your fucking senses and rename your stupid fucking show, funny guy. No, this, this is a My gym partner My gym partner's a funny that. guy. <laughs> my gym partner's a family guy. <laughs> oh, freaking sweet, I'm in animal school. We cut back. We cut back. Holy, holy, holy crap, crap Lois, is that a monkey? <laughs> holy crap, Lois, I can see my whole ass in the mirror. <laughs> Jake's there. Wow, this reminds me of the time I was in Mr. Hornbill's class. Jake's ass! <laughs> Like Wait, lips. Renee, you're like gonna have to stop. I can't. <laughs> but. Okay. Are we... Okay. <laughs> Are we collected? Sorry, y'all. Um... Because we really need to talk about. Yes. Okay. So Jake, Jake does a funny, uh, and, and by funny I mean yeah. when I saw it, I had no words. <laughs> He, he he dips his what tail. Yeah, they're like look, yeah. He, look, like Renee said, they're in Mister Hornbill's class. He dips his tail into some red paint. Um, we cut to Adam, like a shot of Adam, like writing on his desk, and and then he kind of like looks over at Jake, and he like does the like you know cartoon like boom, <laughs> like his eyes get wide. <laughs> and Jake has a really funny look on his face. <laughs> As he's doing this action that this we're about be to, so describe hard to describe to you, this, you're we're, you're gonna have to look at the okay. picture we provide on the video, but we'll try our best. Uh... First, you draw <laughs> two circles at the top, and then you put a hat on on top of that, and then you make a big smile. It's <laughs> not Kirby; it's Jake Spider Monkey's ass, and he and he made like a face with his it. Hands, like, he's doing a handstand. Okay, so... his his ass cheeks are his are the eyes of the face, and then his tail is he's, he his drew tail eyes is there. curved around in in the shape of like a banana mouth, and he's like making it talk, and it's painted red for some reason, and it's a he's he says. What are you looking at? In a funny little voice, Tom Kenny's delivery is perfect. And and of course, and then and then Adam just thinks it's hysterical. He starts just busting a gut out there. He's just like, "Oh my god, that's so funny!" <sighs> Mr. Hornbill oh, he gets pissed. Comedy. Mr. Hornbill is such a goddamn buzzkill and er mm. least favorite he, teacher he... bad faculty <laughs> he them member both to detention uh and we cut to them in detention and uh man mr mantle's there again and he's like let's rap about it you know whatever he he's like why were you guys you know sent here like let's talk about why you're here and and he's like adam why are you here and adam's like well i, I was laughing in in class and he's like well that's not cool adam my man why were you laughing Hey, boy. <laughs> really? <laughs> he, he, points. he points over to Jake, and Jake's still doing this bit. <laughs> Okie dokie is what Jake says. Okie dokie. With his, like, and with his just funny, with his oh, funny and... butt joke. And everyone just laughs. They bust the gut. Even Mr. Mandrill's like, this is so funny. It's so funny. It's so <laughs> then we get a, a surprisingly uh, milk-based scene. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a montage um, where it's it's, a milk. Uh, Adam's just trying to eat his lunch. Like, you know, again, <laughs> this is this is a constant theme. He's trying to eat his lunch. He never but he eat can't his lunch because because Jake is there. Make everyone's drinking milk for some reason. And Jake's making Ugh. everyone laugh with his bit and snort out the milk at, on Adam. Always on yeah, Adam. Yeah, and, and even to the point where, like, Adam, he keeps switching places, but he still gets milk sprayed on him. And then he's sitting at a table, and somebody laughs and walks by. And it's like a, a cow or a yak 
animal, and it's not it's not milk they were drinking. She, she, she's spurting milk out of her udders. Just disgusting. Like that. Just hanging out. She just leaves it's it hanging. Disgusting, and 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 Adam's like, I've had enough of this bit. This is a bad bit. I don't want to. I don't want this anymore. And the. And uh, well, I wanted to talk about how. Uh, this, this looking at this ha- gave me a realization. I think this is why I hate <laughs> milk. It's this because of this scene and th- this episode. How much it just portrays milk and people spitting out milk. It's, it's disgusting. This episode is disgusting, and it's what really grossed me out to milk, <laughs> and that's why I hate it because my of gosh. this show. Oh, I'm sorry, my gym partners and money. Ruined lech. <laughs> oh, we're gonna for get to you. that. Don't you dare. Um, <laughs> but the cafeteria lady is there. But, but mm-hmm. Miss Tusk. Making She's like, oh. Money. <laughs> she she offers Adam because I guess she thinks Adam is like Jake's manager. She offers uh, an exclusive contract so that Jake can uh, make people bust a gut, spit their milk out, and she can reap the milk prop. The milk yeah, so they'll just buy more milk, and apparently that's the that's the that's the driving force. This is, <coughs> you know, it could have just been that they like wanted to eat a meal while watching his show, so they would buy more food at the cafeteria. But no, we we gotta make sure it's milk based. Oh, it doesn't have to be spit out it's, the milk. But it, uh, you know, Jake is now performing live. And. Th- Suddenly, we see a transformed cafeteria. Moment, just like in a moment's notice, it's completely transformed. Everyone's uh, watching a big stage, like it's a uh, uh, it's a big uh, uh, dinner theater type thing. Uh, Miss Tusk is going around giving people their milk. Uh, Lupe's like, "Hey, I didn't order any milk. Lupe don't like leche." <laughs> <laughs> but of course it goes even further I, again I always enjoy Lupe's input it's really like really good representation of a yeah, Latina let's talk, person let's talk very briefly because we have talked about it before but let's talk about this scene because it goes even further um, Renee I know you're particularly pissed off would you like to describe it so, so, so Miss Tusk is trying to uh, push in her uh, her milk scheme is like yeah. There's there's a two milk minimum for every show, and of course Lupe is, doesn't really wants to see the show, so she's going through her little coin purse and she's like, ah, lunes, martes, miércoles. She's just saying the days of the week. Yeah. <laughs> Why is she doing of- that? Like, does can we possibly think of any way that that makes sense in like, this situation? Like, like, maybe it's her like her allowance money based on the day of the week but no i don't no i don't know they just why. want her to say she, she just says the days of the week like they're curse words just under her breath i think or they something. wanted to get off the fact that she was uh you know oh she's she's swearing in in spanish but they, they can't actually do that so they just make her say something completely normal and they're like our audience don't know spanish right there can't possibly be any yeah. bilingual kids here watching this show, huh? Nobody knows <laughs> this language. Certainly. She's come from a completely different world, South America. <laughs> so. It's 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 messed up, and, but thankfully we don't dwell on it too long. But it's just come on, guys. It's it wasn't. You can't even excuse it for the time. It's just, just like, stupid. It's not even like a terrible thing, but it's just stupid. It's it's well, just I mean, not it's not like awful. It's just like kind of like you could be better. I mean, uh came from the same guys who gave us samurai. Well, you Kwan know what? The, <laughs> I forgot about him. <laughs> Which well, by the way, I I just learned uh, a bit earlier. It's actually voiced oh, by no. Phil Lamar. Uh, who also voices Samurai Jack. But I mean I guess I you know that's that's further information for you, I guess. <laughs> doesn't really say anything else it's just yeah so 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 not to beleaguer the moment jake jake gets on stage he's doing his handstand 
with his butt out and his mouth uh, <laughs> painted, and he's like, "What are you looking at?" What? And then he Everyone pauses, laughs. and he says, "Okay, dokie." Everyone laughs, and that's 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 the bit. That's the just the bit. He he doesn't you know pl uh, play the audience a bit. He doesn't you know do a, a heckle. Doesn't do a straight man, funny man. It's it's just him, his butt showing, and he just says those two things, and then it's a montage of each show getting sold out. You know what this out. reminds me of? This is like the equivalent of somebody like getting on stage at like a a comedy venue, right? And they get on. And they're like, hey. And then they like quote a meme or like a vine or something. And everyone like kind of laughs. And then they're like, good night, everybody. <laughs> that sounds like a familiar thing from like high school. <laughs> I feel like I've seen that before. You know what? It's, then this is yeah, very it, fitting. Uh, the, I guess so. Oh, gosh. Is, is he selling out these shows and he's doing so great and oh, it's it's like a okie dokie montage and oh they just cannot get enough uh, the uh, leading leading up to miss uh, image of miss tusk holding money bags and with this face that is really startling to me i have to talk about <laughs> this face i don't know it's just, it reminds me of Watto <laughs> from star wars who uh, <laughs> i'm sorry i'm not familiar with star wars like the names who it's like this alien that's also like a creepy character which people you know uh uh mentioned is you know not a great character are you talking about the one from like the first prequel movie i i guess so i don't really <laughs> yeah know. okay i, can't believe you're I know him the up one here <laughs> it, it 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 it's just all i can think about every time i see that face it's it's we'll, we'll have to do a, a side by side <laughs> comparison. <laughs> Has a uh, presence. Been, oh. But so anyway, Jake is reeling in the fans. He's signing autographs for his CD, <laughs> which is presumably like nine yeah. seconds long. <laughs> and I want it. I want that CD. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Can you imagine if we had that CD? We'd probably like. We'd be pretty well <laughs> off. <laughs> Um, let's, let's start yeah, with Kickstarter for the, for more the, on that later for the stupid CD fuck okay I'm like losing I'm like losing <laughs> steam this episode exhausted me <laughs> it's so hard to talk about because there's not really like I because mean, he like, just does that It's the, well, the thing it's... is the, the show has the same joke over and over again and that's the joke is that it's the same joke and the only interesting thing that happens is this this guy named Dickie shows up. Yeah, so Dickie Dicky Gervais shows up. Oh no. And... No, that's not his name. Hello! <laughs> Hello! I'm here to I'm spruce here. up your comedy like act. You... Yeah, he's so he's just like this lighter. little like He's a sugar jumper. Sugar gl sugar glider jumper. His and name he is Dickie Sugar <laughs> And Adam is just a big oh, fan. Yeah. And, and, and this is, this I is guess. where I finally got the concept of the episode because, like, the way they were portraying it was pretty adult, right? Not adult, but like, like the idea of a comedy show and like telling jokes on a stage. It's like it's something that like kids don't do. For so for a moment, I forgot that we were in a school setting because he's like, oh, you know, I'm I'm I like to represent uh, class clowns, and I was like, oh, is this like a class clown thing? Like, he, he started talking yeah, about, like, do like... you remember go for whatever the hell? And Adam's, uh, Willy yeah, Wombat and Adam's like, oh, I, I uh, love that, like, those guys. Like, quoting like, their oh, things. So oh, dang, goobly like, goobly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and for a split second, I thought, oh, is this little, like, sugar jumper guy, does he represent, like, actual comedians? Like, like, uh... Like and I and I was about to have like a like a conversation to myself about if there were like celebrity animals in the world, but no, it was class clowns that he represented or something, and, I, and that's when it finally clicked in my head. I was like, oh, I understand the episode now. Great, great. <laughs> you know, it makes a lot more sense. We don't have to think about any larger yeah. implications. But 
I, I I like this introduction of Dicky Sugar Jumper because Adam is very enamored with him. Sugar Jumper. Like, no, I think no, it is jumper. It's jumper. I think I misunderstood. Really? Is it Jumper? It, it is Jumper. Okay, uh, sugar, so... A sugar glider is an actual thing, but I think a sugar jumper is a different oh. animal. Okay, that that does sound... My, my bad, then. I'm sorry. But I, I really like this introduction, <laughs> because Adam is very enamored with him. And also, Jake is just really fed up with him from the moment <laughs> you see him. He's just like, who, who are you to tell me? Who are you to tell me what my comedy routine should be? You... Yeah, Dicky comes Nothing. up with a new catchphrase and everything. He's like, "You need to spruce up your routine, or people are gonna get tired of it." Like, let me let me give you some of my material, and like we can work together. You know, he's being very reasonable, and and he and he he uh, demonstrates it. And Adam's like, "Oh, that's very nice." And he he like locks hands with Dicky, and they kind of like stare at each other for a second. They're like, oh, "Yes, <laughs> yeah, I it's think very so. romantic." Um, it's very, it's a very intimate little bit for some reason. And, uh, but Jake is not having it. No. Nope. It's like, uh, get off! Why? Your stuff's so funny. Why don't, why don't you make it your own? And then you get a little zoom in, and he's like, hmm. as he's like going out. There's a little comedy, hmm. comedy routine. And so Adam tries to convince Jake to take take him up on the offer. At least make some new material. Somehow, Jake's like, no, I'm just gonna keep doing the same bit over and over, because it's genius. I'm genius. And of course, uh, you get a time card the next day, and just, uh, he, Jake is doing the bit in front of an empty audience with only Adam there. It's like, well, uh, I, I'm a class, I'm a classic, all right. A classic whoa, has whoa, been. Whoa, 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 whoa. It feels weird that we're already at this point. Like, I, th all throughout this episode, like talking about it, I cannot, for the life of me, tell where we are in its <laughs> progression because a lot of it feels so like, like. I think it's just how much of it is just Jake saying his like funny joke over and over yeah it, it's well it's it also mostly confused. takes place in the cafeteria comedy set place like it's all there it the mostly lacteria. and mm -hmm. uh miss tusk comes out and she's like get off the stage you're like the the headliner's coming in a bit and they're all like but we thought jake was the headliner and he's like nope she's he's all washed up and she sprays him with his t her tusk and then he, Adam's like, but we have a contract! And she sprays that, of course, and it cuts and Dickie's out on stage and to a full crowd. Hello. Hello. How's your trousers? And then what's curious about this is that like, he just starts with this and then everyone's like, just fine, thanks! Even though this is supposedly his first Yeah, I guess act? he must have tried it out on other people like outside of the stage setting first. Jake and Adam are like uh, <laughs> demoted to like servers, so they're walking around with like milk. They they even serve Lupe uh, so that we can get this, the the line again. They're, don't didn't I tell you before? Lupe don't like leche. Oh like, my goodness, I'm so sorry. Jake. <laughs> She's like, oh Jake, oh God, oh oh Jake, I'm sorry, I didn't know it was you. Oh oh no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but then. But then, like, Jake, Jake's lamenting his lost fame, and then Adam just jokes. It's like, I guess you're the butt of the joke now. Hey, the butt of the joke! Oh Get God. it? And, like, is that a cat? Hey. Oh. Um. Yeah. yeah but... Hold on. Stella, <laughs> you need to get out of here. How did you open the door? Adam is just being a jerk. <laughs> like he's really rubbing it in that that that, uh, that Jake has lost his fame, and everything that he holds dear and near to him. So yeah. manager, you turned out to be. Which honestly, yeah, I agree with Jake <laughs> in this. Like, Adam's kind of being really shitty. I thought you were supposed to represent like Jake and like help him be successful, but you didn't really yeah, do and anything. Then we have, um. <laughs> You know, as Dickie's doing his performance, he like actually tells some actual jokes, and uh, Jake spits out his milk. He's he took a sip of some, and and Adam's like, 
oh, so now you think he's funny? And Jake's like, no, I just I just like doing spit takes. Why don't you try it? And Adam is like, I can't. I'm lactose intolerant, which, like, I totally get because I'm also, la- <laughs> I'm also get- lactose intolerant. Relatable. Yeah, he's like, get get gassy. Gas. And it's like it, drinking milk is, like, awful. Uh, an awful experience for someone who's lactose intolerant. But Jake insists, oh, well, you don't have to swallow it. You just spit it out. Give it a try. And so Adam puts some in his mouth and starts swigging it around. And Miss Tuss, <laughs> like, grabs Miss- him. He's like, I don't pay you to drink. <laughs> and like just, like, rats. swishes him around. And you get, like, this, like, like this water tank sound. It's, it's fucking and disgusting that he was fed milk. It's disgusting, and I think that's what Bridget yeah, He accidentally drinks the milk, and he's like, milk. oh no, I'm gassy. And meanwhile, Jake is like heckling uh, Dickie, and he's like... He's, he's <laughs> like, hey, that's that's a, that joke's offensive to those of us who don't wear pants, at his, at then, his classic then... catchphrase. Hello, how's your trousers? And then Dickie owns an SJW line. <laughs> Yeah, Dicky <laughs> owns SJW compilation, gets it completely defeats SJW Jake Spider Monkey uh, ownage. <laughs> Please watch this video. Um, Dicky jumps from the stage, he's like, Oh, sorry, love, I didn't mean to offend you. And he, you know, jokes around with him, and then they start, like, fighting, actually. <laughs> yeah, like, Jake attacks him. <laughs> Like that's it. <laughs> it's a little slow animation to where he's coming up on him, and then like they tussle in the classic cartoon way. And Adam's like, "Do it? Do I have to?" And then he farts, and every, everyone stops. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Like as they're like you know fighting in like a you know the cloud in a, like a cartoon. You know when people two people fight, there's like a big cloud in the way and you just see like limbs flying everywhere when adam when adam farts mm-hmm. they like pause mid-motion and they're like pulling at each other but they're just like staring at adam, like you can see like jake's like entire yeah. mouth like he's it's like pulled open and his teeth are just like shut they're... tight yeah he's smiling. smiling he's like staring at adam and then everyone it's... starts laughing and then Miss Tusk's hands Adam the microphone and is like, "It's your time! <laughs> it's your time! Your turn!" And he, and he the like star. makes a joke and he farts into the microphone. And it's very everyone funny. Loves Every, it. Everyone speaks of his genius. We see, we catch a bit of the crew <laughs> like clapping, ex, uh, expelling his, like, his genius. He's like genius. He's he's Fine. like genius. Yes. <laughs> yeah, slips, slips, slips chimes and he's just like. He's like a natural. <laughs> Which always, always good, good to, to hear slips. from always him. Always good to see slip. Uh, and I. You're, you're a shiny. Is, is that how it ends? Slips. I kind of forgot. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how it ends. Well, except for the very end, where like the very end, it's it's oh, a call, yeah. callback where where Adam was asking when Dicky was first introduced. Adam asked, "Huh, I wonder what happened to those class ga- clowns," and it was because apparently. They didn't want to get any further material from Dickie. They just, you know, they're relegated to doing their comedy acts in the parking lot at a, a bucket of chum. And then you <laughs> see everyone there now. Dickie, Jake, uh, the zebra, uh, the wombat. They, they all, all the class do, clowns. They all do their bit at this chum bucket. And then it falls over and Iris is out. And we're done. We're, we're free. <laughs> um, Let, let's these two burnt this. me. They burnt Already? me out. Already, we just got back to it. These are like very common episodes. These are like the the iconic episodes of My Gym Partners a Monkey. These are like the 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 peak rerun episodes where you see them all the time. So I can understand that. I'm I'm more excited for the next episodes that are a bit weirder, at least. Yeah. Uh, one of them is kind of supposedly the Halloween episode of the show, sort of. It's not really, like, Halloween feature length, and it doesn't really have to do with a made-up animal holiday or something, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's scary! 
and I, I actually think, from what I remember, I thought it was actually pretty cool. It wouldn't happen to be the alien one, would it? No, no, we're, well, we're, I, I want to do something special for the alien one. All right. I don't know. Well, I do something we're running a bit over that, but... today, so let's go ahead and get to um, reading some comments. Um, I'd really like to read this exchange. So this is going to be comments from our Animus videos. This was like a while ago, actually. Uh, two weeks ago, I think. So um, <clears throat> here's... Uh, <laughs> I just read this just now and <laughs> had a little laugh about it. So Splat Gats is says... Uh, this episode really makes me think, where are Adam's parents? Why does Adam go to a sushi bar for guidance instead of his family? Is he actually dead and therefore unable to communicate with them? This show raises so many questions. Uh, thank you for reading my comment, and I wish you all a merry animus. To which Plushy Beaks replies, <laughs> If Adam was your son, would you want to be present in his life? <laughs> I mean, he he doesn't get fed well, yeah. so. This comic by Gothic Jinx One Hundred One says, "Wow, they really pissed all over any attempt at a sincere message there." Oh, I see Wah. what you did. <laughs> uh, reminding um, us. Oh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, gibbly goob. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean. What could they really <laughs> say? <laughs> I mean, there was there was nothing they could have done. It was a bad. It was bad from the start. It was about a piss <laughs> rock. The point of Animus was pissing on a rock. Um, I guess I guess I'll read this next one. Um, Punny Missile says. Do you think there's an animal elementary school where animals learn to speak human language? No, there's a, there, this is where we have to decide if animals have the ability to speak like normal human language because of some, you know, radiation factors, or if they have to be taught it, if they have to be assimilated. Well, the radiation, I, I would assume, makes their brain <laughs> big, but it, it, it can't teach them a language, so like... They get the knowledge, but they, they get, the, like, the capacity, the ability to learn, but maybe, like, maybe they do have a school for, like, animal, like, an elementary school, and maybe they do learn human language there. I mean, maybe... yeah, there there is, uh, even though some episodes would have us believe that they just eat their books and stuff in literature classes, it is shown, uh... In this very episode, actually, that they were writing down stuff, so they know how to read and they write. They learned it somewhere. So, what if they're really smart? What if they're like already like super smart? So that's why they eat <laughs> the books because they have no other use for right, them. Here's one last one. I actually want to read this one. Uh, it's it's a question for all of us. Um, by Painter CP. I have a question for the podcast. Why do you think Mr. Hornbill is the only animal in the show not named after his own species? Was he perhaps adopted? Now, this 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 was interesting, I think, because I think there is an episode where uh no, nah, you know what? Actually, I'm uh we'll have to see if we ever get to it. Oh, we're but getting to there it. Something called a hornbill right now. There, there there is a there is an episode uh where there is another b bird because because a hornbill is the name of a bird, but I don't think that bird was a hornbill. But the, that bird has a specific relation to Mr. Oh, hornbill. I'm interested to to see this. Okay, so this is spoiler territory. So let's not get any further. But thank you for the questions, everybody. Um <laughs> Oh, and before I forget, this is uh, this is Lucy recording after hours alone on my crappy microphone. Forgot to mention that we received some beautiful <laughs> fan art of uh, Jake Spider Monkey as a Saiyan by at Sleepy Nook on Twitter. Thank you. I got a very big laugh out of that one. Uh, <laughs> I forgot to mention it, so I'm putting it in the episode now. Thank you. We all love it. So we'll be back uh, next week um, with the Halloween special, question mark? 
It's a Halloween special. It's called. It's mm-hmm. the scary so, old. It, it, well, it's half of it is like yeah. a Halloween. It's not really a Halloween. It's just a scary. Uh, it, one half is the science <laughs> fair spooky. episode. Oh, yeah. So, so the first part of the episode is it's the scary old custodian Adam Lyon, and then the second half is my science project. So we'll be back with those episodes. Um, and yeah, so it's good to be back in the new year. 2019 is the year of the monkey. Don't don't quote me on that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the year. Cake, it, it could be the year of the monkey. spider, year of the monkey, maybe yeah. both. Year of the spider monkey. Year of the lion. Never. Never. never year of the lion. Well, good. thank you too for joining me. I know that our schedules have been out of whack since the holidays and stuff, but I'm I'm glad we could get this get this done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm Honestly, gonna go. This podcast, it, it it's nice to do Aww. this podcast, and I'm glad to get back into the routine of it. It's some it's something nice to do to just like talk about how I feel about this show, uh, I int- interact with the fans a bit, see you know just renewed interest in this show and how weird and horrible. Okay, horribly wonderful. But just well, it could at some time. It, it could it could be at some points, but also. There is a there is a kind of uh, there is a kind of I don't know a mystique a charm pe- to it a peace to it. There's right, peace well, in this. If you let, let's let's say mm-hmm. our goodbyes. I'll start. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>